What's good YouTube? It's your boy Lord Chef back at it again with another banger video and as you can see by the title and thumbnail in today's video we will be talking about the top five to ten modifications for your Dodge Charger or Challenger so if y'all want to know what y'all can do or what y'all want to do with y'all cars stay tuned to the end of the video smash that like button comment and subscribe for your boy give me the 50,000 subscribers and I will sell the big tanny scat pack for a tanny Hellcat y'all so give me the 50k but anyways we're gonna hurry up and get to it because it's getting late and the bugs is biting the hell out of me y'all so let's get it before we get started, for those who have not seen my recent video, man, y'all missing out. As you can see, we finally got the Tanny Mobile Scatty all matted out. Finally all blacked out besides the mirrors. She looking real good, man. We finally back in business. Finally, no longer two-tone front bumper. No longer look like a striker. Show y'all that ass real quick as well. Sheesh, and I also got to show y'all how she sounded. I ain't do that yet. Hold on. So oh, this is the Tanny Scat for those who are new to my channel. Feel me? Had her for about three to five months. Honestly, four or five months. I don't know. Modding her out, trying to do as many mods as I can. It takes time, but here's my top five to ten modifications that I think you guys should do if you own a Challenger or a Dodge Charger. So for all my Mopar boys in general, um, I'm going to go over my modifications, mainly for the Chally. Let's get straight to it, y'all. So modification number one. Y'all already know, man. As soon as you get the car off the lot, please, and I beg you, please take it to the tent shop, y'all. Y'all got to get your car tinted. And this goes with any car, but mainly for my Mopar guys. If you have a Dodge Chally, Charger, SRT Jeep, Trackhawk, Hellcat, whatever you got, please get your car tinted, y'all. I'm not saying get it bombed out, but at least get some tint on the sides. Even if you want the windshield untinted, film, you got to have a tinted car, y'all. It just makes the car look 10 times better. From a distance, you don't got to worry about getting caught lacking in a fishbowl. Feel me? So that's the first thing I ever done. I'm just going off the list of everything I've done in order, y'all. So definitely get your car tinted. If you live in the 302 Delaware, New Jersey, Philly, Philly area, go to my boy Tint with Ty. He tinted my car. That's his Instagram right there. So tap in with him. But he got me right. I got 15% on the windshield and then 5% all the way around on the back and the sides. This actually already came tinted, the back window and the side windows, but it ended up being 5%, I think. Might be a little off, I don't know. But I got my door windows and then my windshield. I got 15% ceramic and then 5% on the inside. Let me show y'all how that looks real quick. So there we go, we got five and then 15. Yeah, y'all, so as soon as you get that Tanny Mobile or your Charger, your Chally, whatever car you got, please get it tinted. So that gotta be number one off the list automatically even if you get a kia or a ford or whatever car you got bro you got to get a tenant like it's only right imagine just driving around for me nobody know who's in a car so you can't even see lower shift in that thing man you know it's lower shift but you can't see who's driving it so it feels good just not being able to be seen i know me personally i always hated driving in a fishbowl so i always got my car's tenant but that's the first thing y'all got to do now moving on to number two second mod you should do for your car has to be the exhaust if you own a dodge charger challenger or srt jeep once again you feel me you got to have a straight pipe car man you got to make that thing loud six even if you own a v6 charger or chally i say straight pipe it but it all depends it's your preference a lot of people don't like it to sound like a, a lawnmower people you got you know the v6 guys who just like it loud so v6s don't sound terrible don't get me wrong but me personally i prefer a loud v8 than a loud v6 i'm not bashing y'all v6 boys you feel me y'all gonna get up there one day it takes time but if you get a v8 man for all my v8 boys soon as you get that v8 off the lot you gotta get a straight pipe so take it to the exhaust muffler shop or whatever get your mufflers deleted and then i don't have my resonators deleted yet but my cats are gone as you can see my resonators are still on i got my mufflers deleted my mid mufflers and then my catalytic converters are deleted as well so yeah my car is pretty loud and let me give you all a little sound test from a distance let me show you all how loud it is so i like me personally i don't like a quiet car you feel me you get that v8 for a reason you got to hear that grumble so if you get your little v8 man you got to hear that grumble let me show you all how she sounded from back here this is like from 50 feet away feel me I know y'all hear that little growl, that little baby cam, bro. You gotta have that. Feel me? If you got a V8, bro, you gotta have it loud. So yeah, y'all, number one is tent. Number two is a straight pipe. And this goes, once again, this goes for all my Charger, Challenger, V6 owners, 
V8 owners, V10, whatever the hell you got, film. You gotta have a straight pipe, y'all. All right, now moving on to number three. Let's get to it. The third modification that you should have has to be lowering springs. So this is one of the main things that I realize even if you have a V6 or a four cylinder, if you have a four cylinder or a V6 Charger, Camaro, Mustang, whatever it is, if you debadge it and then put lowering springs on it, I promise you it will look like a beast, bro. It will look like, I'm not saying slam it, but it will look like a, it'll look like your Shelby. It'll look like your Hellcat. It'll look like your, I don't know, your ZL1. You feel me? Just put lowering springs on it and I promise you it will look like a monster. I have coilovers at home. If you don't know what those are, those are pretty much like, like springs, but you can adjust them. I have coilovers at home I still gotta put on, but once I put them on, bro, I promise y'all, if y'all go back to this video, you're gonna be like, damn, he was right. Like, this shit look crazy. Wait till I throw them on, y'all. She's still stock height right now, but, so you still got that little gap. But I promise y'all, once I put them coilovers on, y'all gonna be like, damn, that joint look like a cat. Like, it really look like a cat now. That's number three, I believe, so. Definitely grab you some coilovers or springs or airbags or whatever the case may be to lower your car. I'm not saying slam it to the floor like them little Hondas in them, but you gotta have a lower car, y'all. It makes it look 10 times more aggressive, 10 times more scarier, and it makes your car actually go from a V6 to a V8 or a V8 to a, I don't know, a beast. Like, I don't even know. Y'all know, bro. Y'all see my RT. My RT was lowered and everybody thought it was a cat because of how the fitment was. That shit was just crazy. But all right, y'all, we gonna move to number four. Let's get to it. Boom. All right, y'all. So moving on to number four. Number four on the list. We have wheels. So I know y'all going to be like, damn, you talking about wheels, but you don't even got wheels yet. These are my stock wheels. I know that I'm waiting on the wide body to get wide body wheels. But definitely if you have a charger or chally and you want to stay slim body, right? Get you some wheels. Or if you have a wide body as well and you don't like your wheels. But most wide bodies come with good looking wheels anyways. But if you have a slim body and it comes with these wheels like this. If you have wheels like that bro. Like the RT looking wheels. You got to swap them out. You got to get you some Hellcat wheels. Five stars. Wide spokes. The double wide spoke looking wide body wheels. You got you got options out there y'all. So change them stock rims out. And get you some rims bro. Definitely get you some Hellcat rims. You know, I know them V6s come with like silver looking wheels. If you have a V6 Chally or Charger and your wheels came chrome, definitely get them black at least. Like that's why I haven't really been rushing to get these wheels swapped out slim body because they're black. So I can kind of, I can kind of wait off on them a little bit until I get the wide body and then get the wide body wheels over top. But um, these are going to be like my slider wheels, man. My, I mean, Mr. Adams, if you're watching this, I promise you I don't slide. It's Matthew who just said that. But yeah. So, this is Matthew. These are like my slider wheels, y'all. Feel me? I'm going to hand it back to Lord Schiff now. But yeah, like Matthew said, these are his slider wheels. So, he doesn't really care about these wheels. Because I'm going to eventually get some new ones. I got curb rash and all that on them. Let me show y'all real quick. Curb rash and shit, dog. Yeah, y'all. Definitely grab y'all some wheels. Because, like, if, you, if you're not planning on lowering the car, at least grab wheels. They're going to be a little pricey. But I recommend going on Facebook Marketplace. That's where you'll find all your wheels at. That's where I find my wheels on my RT. I went on Facebook Marketplace. Some guy was selling all four for like 600. Brand new tires. Great deals on there. So definitely grab you some wheels. That's number four. Now moving on to number five. Move on to the interior of the car now, y'all. Let's take let me take y'all to the interior. Number five, y'all. We got stars. You gotta have a nice interior, y'all. If you're not gonna do nothing to your interior, you gotta at least get star a starlight headliner. I did these myself. This is 720 stars. It does have shooting stars as well, but they're not on. Um, yeah, definitely grab you some starlight, a starlight kit, and then have some guy install it. I also install them as well myself. So if you're in a DE, NJ, or Philly area, hit up your boy Lord Shift on it on my Instagram. My Instagram is Lord Shift. I'm gonna throw it right here. I install starlights myself. As you can see, I did a great job. Everything's tucked. You feel me? I really do it all, y'all. I also, I don't know how to do it on the sunroof yet, but one day I'll learn, you feel me? For my Hellcat, I'm going to make sure I get it on the sunroof. But yeah, y'all, y'all can see the stars. It's tough. We got any color, you feel me? If you got tan in your car, this is this is a great joint, y'all. All right, so that's number five, I believe. We're going to give y'all a little honorable mentions, too. A couple a couple honorable mentions. But um, yeah, number five is the Starlight Kit. So one was tent. Two was lowering springs. Three was wheels. It might be in a different order. I don't even know. Tent. Lowering springs, wheels, straight pipe, and starlights. Those are what you need. The top five must-haves. 
Here's some honorable mentions I'm gonna throw in here as well. Just to add a little bit of flavor to the video, we're gonna add a couple more couple more uh, modifications. But if y'all want a part two, let me know and I got y'all. So make sure if you at this point in the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Give me the 50,000 because we getting a Hellcat. I'm tired of this scat, bro. I already want a Hellcat, bro. Move on to number six, honorable mention. Let's get it. Boom. All right, y'all, so honorable mention. Honorable mention, y'all. If you own a Charger or a Chally, right, one of the most must-have modifications has to be anti-theft accessories. We're going to throw that all in here, all right? I carry a steering wheel lock. I have a neutral strap. You can't put my car in neutral. I have a kill switch. I have everything, bro, to keep this car from being stolen because people will take your V6. You don't even have to have a V8. People will snatch that GT up and put a Hellcat engine and edge on too. So if you if you want to if you have any Mopar, Jeep, Charger, Chali, whatever it is, bro, get you a steering wheel lock at least. You can go to AutoZone, you can go to Amazon, get you one of those one of those locks that lock the steering wheel up. A lot of people come to your house trying to steal your car. They, they're not even prepared for that. They just break your window and be like, oh shit. It's a steering wheel lock. I don't, even have to, I don't even have the tools to cut it. Definitely get you some stuff to prevent your car from getting stolen. Um, I will make a separate video on that as well, but that's my number six. That should be number one, honestly. If you own a Mopar, that should be number one. First thing I ever bought was something to prevent my scat from being stolen because this will turn into a striker real quick. And y'all know how that go, especially in Philly. Philly get down, you feel me? They get down with these strikers. Shout out to my Philly boys though, man. Y'all, y'all, I fuck with y'all niggas, but y'all be getting them strikers like crazy. All right, y'all, so that's number six. Number seven has to be. This is, this is what Matthew thinks, right? This is Matthew's idea. This is number seven. It is a plate cover. As you can see, I am a content creator, so I need this for content reasons, you feel me? This is for photos, for car shows. For videos, I don't like my tag being shown, even though it might be shown at car events and stuff like that. Well, it's easy to see my tag once I just have it up, but I always have it down just in case, you feel me? Um, for, for reasons like that, you feel me? I'm lower shit. A lot of people like to take pictures of my car when I go to car events and things like that. So I don't like my license plate being shown because you can get your address from it. You can get a lot of information from it. So I just, I prefer not to have my license plate shown. I just cover it up. Now that's that's the last and final mod I'm gonna give y'all. That's that's from Matthew too. This is not for me. This ain't coming from me. Matthew told me to say this to y'all. So he said definitely grab your license plate cover. You can grab this on Amazon, Walmart, Facebook Marketplace. They're like fifty to hundred dollars. They range from different prices. I got mine from some some guy in Jersey. Sold it to me for a couple dollars. So definitely comes in handy. You get it on your key. You can turn it up. You can put it up and down. Blocks your whole plate. So that's all I got for the top five modifications, top five to ten modifications. If y'all want a part two to this, let me know, and I got y'all with a part two. We're going to hurry up and get out of here because I'm getting bit up like crazy. Make sure y'all, once again, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Get Lord Shift to 50,000, like I said before. So I'm going to catch y'all in the next banger video. It's your boy, Laura Bender, and we out.